Hello, and welcome to Recipes with Ben. In a recent video, I brewed a pumpkin spice stout that was inspired by the pumpkin spice latte, where I added pumpkin puree, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and lactose on the brew day, and then into the keg, I added coffee and vanilla to make a seasonal coffee beverage inspired stout. If you want to see that video, I'll link it down below. But upon brewing that beer, it got me thinking, what even is a pumpkin beer? If you do a quick internet search for what is a pumpkin beer, the basic style guidelines are super vague, saying that a pumpkin can be added to the mash with the grains, and the spices associated with pumpkin pie can be added at any time to make it a spiced beer. The base beer style can be a pale ale, a wheat ale, a stout, or even a porter. So that means there isn't really a specific style that needs to be the backbone when you brew a pumpkin beer, but some will definitely accent certain aspects of pumpkin flavor better than others. This means that a brewer can choose whatever style you want. So a pumpkin IPA, go for it. An Imperial pumpkin stout, yep. A or bourbon. a bourbon barrel aged golden pumpkin ale would all fall under the same umbrella of a pumpkin beer. When looking in the history of pumpkin beers, the first commercial example comes from Buffalo Bills Brewery in California and was first sold commercially in 1986. And since then, pumpkin beers have grown in popularity, mirroring the similar trend that we see for pumpkin spice lattes. Today, I would say the most recognizable pumpkin beers to me are Shipyard's Pumpkin Head, which is an American pale ale brewed with cinnamon, nutmeg, and other spices, and Dogfish Head Pumpkin Ale, which is a brown ale that is described on their website as having hints of pumpkin, brown sugar, and spice. So let me know down in the comments what's your favorite pumpkin beer, and maybe I'll track it down and try it. With all this background, I think there's only one way to define a pumpkin beer, and to see what commercial breweries are selling. And to do this, I went to pick up some, some pumpkin beers from the local liquor store and give them a try. And we'll see what breweries are calling a pumpkin beer. So again, with all that said, let's try some pumpkin beers. So I'll start with this one. This one's from New Holland. It's called the Ichabob uh, Pumpkin Ale. So it says on the can, it's brewed with real pumpkin, cinnamon, and nutmeg. And it's got a four point something percent alcohol. 4.5. So the color, it's got the nice kind of like ambery caramel color. You associate it. It's kind of clear, but not hazy. Somewhere in between. It's got like a like amber malt kind of smell. It's kind of light. It's got a little bit of cinnamon. It's kind of clean. It doesn't have a strong pumpkin flavor. Just clean and just a mild cinnamon flavor. That's what I get from this beer. So I'd rate this maybe like we're on a scale of like five pumpkins, maybe one and a half. I think this could be improved upon with more spices, more something. It just doesn't seem good, but we'll see how the other ones compare. All right, so it's time for the second one. So this one we have the Four Noses Brewing Company. It's called a Pump Action Imperial Pumpkin Ale. So this one again is pumpkin pie, autumn spices, amber malt. So right away the color has got that nice like orangey, you know, somewhat clear, um, you know, appearance to it. Let's give it a good sniff. You got like the sweet spices or the spices, the sweetness, a little bit of booziness on the nose. Like rich caramelly malt. Ooh, it's very clean at the end, like a malt crisp cleanness at the back. Really can't taste that this beer is 7% plus or 7.7%. Doesn't taste like that. It's very clean. Mm. 
It's got the nice, it's light on the spices, but still pretty good. I'd give this like a, like a three and a half. Definitely think it could go further on the actual like spice notes. I don't taste like pumpkin per se, but I'm trying to figure out what is even a pumpkin beer. Yeah, this one's good. This is definitely better than the last one. So we'll move on to the next beer. Try is this Elysian Night Owl pumpkin ale. It says it's a pumpkin ale brewed with pumpkin, roasted, and raw pumpkin seeds, spiced in condition with nutmegs, cloves, cinnamon, ginger, and allspice. And 6.7% alcohol. So I got the color first. It's got a nice amber, somewhat transparent, not hazy, just not clear. Color, I mean, that kind of caramely orange, you know. To brown that you expect. A pretty good head retention when I first poured it. So we have this aroma. A little bit of sweetness. Touch of caramel. Almost like a touch of like apple pie spice. Wow, this is like I don't know if this is a bad one. It tastes like bottle caps. And it's like very flat flavor. This is not, it doesn't taste right. I think something's wrong with this specific, maybe bottle, maybe it's old, but there's no pumpkin flavor whatsoever. Yeah, again, it just kind of tastes like pump, like, it's not, it's like maybe oxidized. But still, besides that, it just tastes like bottle caps. That's all I get from this beer. I, don't, I mean, I don't taste any spice, no caramelness, no pumpkin flavor. There's not really anything on the aroma. Maybe we'll try to find another bottle and see if the yeah, another one's better. But this is, I would give this a zero. I would not drink this again. So let's try another beer, pumpkin beer and see what that one's like. Here we have Shipyard's um, pumpkin or pumpkin head. This is what I consider probably like the first real um, pumpkin beer I probably had back in the day when I first started drinking craft beer. So it just says it's an ale with natural flavors added. It's four and a half percent. If you look at it, it's super clear. I mean, this is almost transparent. It's got a nice light kind of orange tinge to it. It's got like cinnamon sweetness, a little touch of caramel, maybe honey, that's a better descriptor. Oh yeah, this has got some stuff going on with it. Let's see. It's definitely got spice. It's got like, it's pretty dry at the finish. It's caramely, a little touch of honey. I mean, I think it's got a nice like cinnamon spice to it. It's light though, because it's like you drink it and then it like hits you complex and then disappears, which kind of makes you want another one, like another sip. Yeah, this is good. I think of the ones we've tried, I've tried so far, I think this is the best. I don't think it's the best pumpkin beer ever, but I think this is, if you're trying to start from defining what it is. So far, I think this is the best out of the five beers. I would give this like a four and a half out of five or you know, like a nine out of 10, like somewhere in that range. I think this is really good. It's really clean. It's easy to drink. Yeah, so far I think if you're trying to find what a pumpkin beer is, I think this is a good starting point. It's pretty widely available too. So I would definitely try this if you're trying to figure out a pumpkin beer for yourself. So we have one more, or at least one more, and we'll try to see how those are. So we got our last one that we'll try, which is this Atomic Pumpkin from New Belgium. 
it's got their spicy release instead of the special release. So this is a this is an ale brewed with pumpkin, cinnamon, and chilies. Is there an ABV on it? Six and a half percent or six point four percent by volume. So right away, what we see for the color is that it's super clear. It's got that like light golden to orange hue. It's got a lovely head on it when I poured it. Let's give it a nice swirl. Put a little bit of cinnamon on the nose. That's kind of it. Ooh, it's got like the cinnamon first, then like this lingering slight mild heat from the chilies that kind of almost like a mole kind of heat. That's pretty good. I mean, I think that, and it's got this like lingering heat portion of it. This being a Voodoo Ranger, it's not hoppy, which is fine for this style. Yeah, I mean, it's, it hits the cinnamon followed by the spice. So like, I think this is more on the spicier end. I think if you're looking for the classic, this is a little bit on the different side of the pumpkin ales. I think it's still more in that range, which is pretty good, I would say. Let's say if we're going this out of, you know, five for, you know, pumpkins for uniqueness, probably give this like, again, a four and a half. This is pretty good. I would definitely drink this again. You know, it's more of a spiced ale with the kind of the pumpkin spice with some actual heat, which is nice. Uh, this is definitely more enjoyable than some of the other ones. I would say the shipyard one was a little bit better um, in terms of being like the classic, what you think of as pumpkin ale. And if I see any more, I'll probably add them after this one if I go out and find some more. But overall, what I think we've found is that there isn't a, definitely a clear answer. I would say the stereotypical um, pumpkin ale is something that's like this color. So it's that kind of see-through goldenish to orange hue. Typically it's probably gonna be brewed with pumpkin, which doesn't add a whole lot of flavor, maybe just some sugars. Again, maybe you can get an increased pumpkin flavor if you roast the pumpkin, versus just say adding pumpkin puree, which is probably what something like this did. And then the spices you're looking at is typically you're looking at a mixture of pumpkin pie spices. So cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, um, some other ones that I'll probably put on the screen up here that add to that. And that's really what you're thinking of. It's like the spices related to pumpkin pie to give you a pumpkin spice flavored beer. You can do a lot of things off of that. Like um, you can make like a coffee pumpkin spiced beer. You know, I was thinking of like something inspired by the PSL or something inspired by pie, you could have something with graham crackers and get that kind of graham crackery crust. There's a lot of customization, but if you're just looking for it, probably an amber ale, low hops, you know, light body, pretty clean looking, and then spices is what I would say the stereotypical pumpkin beer. All right, pretty good. Now that we have all of these laid out from what we tried to see in figuring out what a pumpkin beer is, I'll say that probably the worst one was this, and I'm not blaming this specific beer. So it's almost like it's just gotta be taken out of the equation because I think this is specific beer I bought was bad. So now if you look at these, I would say out of the four we tried that these two are probably the best, and it's a distant best from these ones. So again, these were in the four, four and a half range. Not perfect, but pretty good out of five. Yeah, this is a little bit of a twist on the style. I like the spice of it. It's got a nice cinnamon. This is like the classic, when someone's describing a pumpkin beer, this is probably what you're having. So this is a good starting point of like if you're trying to brew your own or buy one. These two were just not spicy enough. They didn't really have anything going on. They could have had more caramel body to them. And they were in the kind of lower end where I would kind of say, not great examples of a pumpkin beer. Definitely think there should be more up here that could be different takes on this. Um, but overall, it's kind of where it stands here. And maybe, again, if we can find this one, maybe I'll check that one out again or something similar to that beer. But when I went to the store, there wasn't a whole lot of variety of pumpkin beers. I mean, I went to 
one liquor store and out other grocery stores as well. And these were the only five I could find. So maybe it's just not as popular as it was. I'm not really sure when the season is. I bought these in September. The guy at the liquor store told me that they had pumpkin beers in August, which doesn't make any sense to me, but maybe that's how the season is. So yeah, if I find any more, I'll add it to the end of this video. With all that said, thank you so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments what your favorite pumpkin beer is, and maybe I'll try to find it and give it a try. If you found any of this helpful in trying to figure it out, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing so you miss on out on future videos. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.